Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be carving up mini mushrooms. Little mini mushrooms, just the chainsaw. Now you can clean them up later with uh, your burrs and your power tools if you want, but in this video, I'm just going to walk you through how to create these with just the chainsaw and the uh, cleanup work that's all you. If this is something you're interested in, be sure to stick around, give the video a thumbs up, and hit subscribe. <laughs> Well guys, like I said, we're going to carve up mini mushrooms. Look how small these are. They're tiny, little mushrooms. Why? Where's the idea for this? You know, I've got quite a few subscribers, which is great. We've got people all over the world. Not everybody can get big, sizable logs to carve. I never realized that until I started chatting with and people were commenting, man, I wish I could get large logs to carve. You know, where I live, I'm only able to get very small stuff. So you know what? I've decided I'm going to start a mini series. Let's carve mini stuff, right? We're going to use the chainsaw. We're going to do as much as we can saw. Cleanup work will be on you. Who knows? Maybe we'll do some cleanup videos. I don't know. But for right now, it's going to be uh, using a chainsaw with a small bar, not a dime tip bar, just a regular bar with a 43 gauge chain, okay? So we're running really small chain on a bar and everything matches up the way it should. If you have questions on that, ask, okay? Because not everything is compatible with everything. That's just, that's not how it works. So you wanna make sure your setup is right. Now, mini carvings, right? Because some people can only get small stuff. Right here is a branch from a pine. It's only about two inches in diameter. That's basically what I was carving these little mushrooms out of. Now, before you start, the best time to do this is when this wood is green. It's the best and the worst. Why is it the best? Because it's the most forgiving, all right? These tops don't come breaking off when it's green. Usually it's pretty flexible. The problem though can be when it dries out, it may split and break. If you are able to go right in and use your power tools right when you're done, it might be good to um, paint boiled linseed oil all over them, kind of let it soak in and maybe they won't crack as bad. But just a heads up, it'll be something you guys have to play with, mess around with, see how it turns out. So I have my second GoPro set up on my helmet today. I'm going to try and shoot this video, you know, so you guys can have my view through the whole thing while we leave this camera here. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this set up, and uh, we'll start carving. The uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do, obviously your safety gear, we're gonna make a bunch of up cuts, okay? We're gonna cut up kind of round this top. Make sure this is in your jaw horse, nice and safe. You will need a jaw horse for this. Be sure to check out the uh, description below for all the tools I'm using or similar stuff. Basically the jaw horse and camera gear. So, all right, let's go. Now let's go. All right, guys, we're just making a cut. Now, using the nose of the bar, let's go around and round this. So we're making our way around. The nose of the bar is just kissing the wood, working it back and forth. Now I need to cut a line all the way around. Don't go super deep. Gotta leave some meat to work with. Now you're gonna make up cuts to your line, but don't go through the top. Nice and easy.
All right, so we see that we kind of got our mushroom started. We're going to need to use the nose of the bar, bottom side, and we're going to work up and stop, thinning out all of this. Guess who messed up? Me. Look how thin I went. Broke mine off. All right, so we gotta leave that meat down there though and not do that. Go figure, I make a whole bunch of them today and this one I cut through. All right, well, that's that. Let's start over. Let's see, all right, we still got meat on there. Again. Let's use the bar and start honing it down. Well, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. I will not touch the top again because if the chain catches, it'll break it right off. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see here. See, we've got some stuff left here, so you can go around, still use the bar, clean it up, or wait for your power tools if you're a little nervous. So I do have a theory to this madness. Why carve something so little? Well, think about all the techniques we just did and all the things we did. There was a lot of saw control, a lot of saw control, using that nose to shape, making very small, precise cuts, not overcutting. And we're also working our forearms, our hands, biceps, chest. It's almost kind of like a workout. You're building muscles so when you're ready to do a bigger carving, you'll be all set to go, knock that piece out and be done. So it's good to start with a tall piece as you can see when you're done. If you don't get crazy with it, you can just take it off like that. There it is, a little mushroom. So you guys can clean them up, do whatever, let them dry and uh, 
quick, easy little gift or sell them for a couple bucks. You're not going to make a fortune, but again, you're working some muscles for that are going to, you know, help you with larger carvings and uh, your stamina for longer carving as well. All right, guys, so that's it. Mini mushrooms, something you guys can make. I don't know, sell them for five, 10, 15 bucks a piece, whatever works. You know, the price thing is always a tough thing to do because everybody lives somewhere different, but you know, I'll probably get a couple bucks. I might put $8 on these, $10, I don't know, we'll see. But I'll end up cleaning it up and oiling it or maybe doing a clear coat or something, getting this bark off because that's not going to stay. But, you know, this is for those of you that can't get large pieces. And this is a really small, maybe a two inch girth stick, you know, just a stick off a bigger tree. But again, I just want to be able to help everybody and people want to learn to carve and not everybody can get big chunks of wood. So here you go. Something tiny. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really hope this will help you out. And uh, you know what? Like I said, I think this is gonna be the first video of a mini carving series, carving mini minis, right? Using the chainsaw as much as we can. And uh, yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Look down below in the description for links to Amazon with a lot of the tools I'm normally using. You guys purchase through those links to help support the channel. You guys can also purchase through my Etsy link and the Teespring Inc ink link those purchases help to support the channel as well be sure to follow me on instagram and facebook those links are down below and you guys can check out my website there's a link there also you know this was a lot of fun i hope you guys have a lot of fun with it stay safe have an awesome week i'll see you in the next video